We have seen Muggsy Bogues, a five foot three player, played in the NBA and had a spectacular career. And he's most known as the smallest player in NBA history. We also have Spud Webb, who's five foot seven, who won the slam dunk contest twice. Also, Nate Robinson, five foot nine or five foot ten, I don't know, but he won it twice. Thrice, I mean, thrice. The slam dunk contest tries. And we also have the tall players like Manute Ball, George Moore's son, which is 7 foot 7 by George Moore's son, taller by a little. We also have Yao Ming, a Chinese player who is 7 foot 6. And he probably has the best career for a, a 7 foot 4 player and above. And what if, what if all the shortest players in NBA history put a team versus the tallest players in NBA history in a team and they fight in one game? Let's see what happens. Before we start the video, I just want to give a shout out to um, Nate Robinson because he was not in the game. So I technically can't choose him, but I really love to use him. I really want him to be in the team, but since he was in, not in the team, so I didn't get to use him. But yeah, so he's the only one who's... I'm going to give a shout out. So sorry, Nate Robinson, you're not in the small players team, but hopefully they added you. You join a the team, then you get added. And yeah, so now let's start the video. In the small players team, we have our first player, which is Muggsy Books. It's the smallest player in our team, which is five foot three. Muggsy Books is gonna be our point guard, or I'm not sure, but he's gonna lead the team in probably in assists, and he's gonna do whatever he can to pass and give, give the give the ball to open players to to make them shoot the layup or the the mid range or the three point. Next, we have in our shooting guard, we have Isaiah Thomas. Which is his five foot nine, but he's very not athletic. He's not good at defense, but he's a very good shooter, and he proves everyone wrong by being the second second round, uh, twenty ninth or thirty pick, and he's now an all star. And yeah, so I see Thomas a shooting guard now. Let's go to our next player. Our next player is gonna be Calvin Murphy. He's a uh, five foot nine. He's gonna be our small forward and. These players, he is a good player. He's a all-time Rockets player. He's a legend in the Rockets. He's a point guard, but he's going to be a small forward. And yeah, so our next player, which is Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson is our, probably going to be our center. He's going to be, he's six foot. He's the only player and another player, which is six foot. And he's going to lead the team. He's going to break some ankles. He's going to break the ankles of a center. And moving on, our power forward, which is Chris Paul. Chris Paul is going to, you know, also break some ankles like Allen Iverson. He can pass the ball. He can pass it if Allen Iverson is open. He can also shoot a three or and or layup. And yeah, so that's basically our the small player starting lineup. And here's the bench. We have Spud Webb. Damon Stoudemire. Spud Webb is going to dunk. Probably Damon Stoudemire, a very good player, five foot nine. K. Felder, um, not that good. Tyler Ullis, not also good. And a Terrell Brander, which is an all time Timberwolves player. In our tall players teams, we have Yao Ming. Yao Ming is a seven foot six player, and he was a Houston Rocket for ten years, and he's a Chinese player, and he's probably the best Chinese player. He's our third tallest player in our team. And yeah, so he's gonna be our center. And now let's go to our next player, which is Manute Ball. Manute Ball is seven foot seven, and he's a blocker. He he's the second most average blocks in his in the career, and what a career he has done. And yeah, so he's gonna be point guard. I don't know why he's the point guard for tallest players teams, but let's just do it. And yeah, so he's gonna be our point guard. And now let's go to our next player, which is George Musan. George Musan is the tallest player in our team, which is seven foot seven. George Musan is taller by centimeters. I don't know how many, but two manut ball. Both of them are seven foot seven, and George Musan can block anyone, and he he's actually fast. So in case if um like any of the the small players, he can block. George Musan is gonna block them easily. And our final player in the starting lineup in the tall tallest players, we have Kristaps Porzingis. He's one of our smallest players, but he's still seven foot three. He's a he's a power forward from the New York Knicks, and he actually got booed in the draft night. But don't worry, he's actually pretty good. He's actually amazing. He's the future of the New York Knicks, and yeah. So now our bench is 
Arvida Sabonis, Rick Smith, Sean Bradley, Mark Eaton, and Zaydrunas Ilgauskas. And I'm guarantee all of them will get a block. Now, we all we have to do is to play the game. As the game starts, Yao Ming tips the ball and and Rob Somerset gets it and Manuel Ball gives the Manuel Ball. Manuel Ball tries to pass it but it was stolen by Chris Paul. Chris Paul gave it to Muggsy to start the fast break and Muggsy get the first points of the team and for the game. Within 3 minutes left to go in the first quarter, Muggsy brings the ball to the half court and Allen Iverson gives the pick and Muggsy drives and takes a jump shot to give them a 5 point lead. And at the second quarter, the start of the second quarter, the big men takes advantage because they're too tall against the small people and they just realize it so they post it up. Every time they try to get a score, they'll just block him. Look at this, Mark Eaton tries to block but Manut Ball blocks Allen Iverson and Manut Ball is um, driving and gives it to Aaron Sabonis and gives it to Kristaps to take a layup. Then Kristaps sees that his opponent is very small, so Kristaps post him up, post him up, then post spin, then takes the oh, the free layup because no one can defense the small players are weak at defense. Then Manut Paul gives it to Zil Ilgauskas and give it to Sabonis and also post him up because they realize he's small and just take the free layup. Then Yao Ming also realized that Alan Chris Paul is small, so he post spin and gets the. As Rob Samson also posts, he spawns spins and takes the layup and gets the end one and also gets the free throw. As Chris Paul brings the ball to the half court, Chris Paul passes it to Scott Brooks and Zilgauskas Zil blocks Scott Brooks, which was a monster chase down block. At the halftime, it's pretty much equally. The player, small players know that they cannot drive, so Chris Paul tries to do a, a jump shot, but Rob Samson gets the block and gets the rebound. And gives it to Manut Ball. And while Manut Ball is crossing to the half court, Kristaps gives him a screen and gives it to Kristaps to get a layup. As Muggsy gives it to Isaiah Thomas, Isaiah Thomas finally realized they can't defend him when step back. Isaiah Thomas did a step back and did a jump shot. And he makes it. As Kristaps gets the ball and, and drives to the half court and drives to the lane and gets a reverse layup to give them the lead, a one point lead. So they need to see so Allen Iverson step box and the three so give them a tie. In the side of the fourth quarter, it's getting intense. Both teams are very, very close. In the start of the quart fourth quarter, Rob Samson gets a screen and Manutbo gets an easy layup. Then Chris Paul tries to drive to the drives to the half court and and gives it to Calvin Murphy to get a layup and gets the end one. Also getting the free throw. But the bigs were too good and they won by by seven and the small guys they they can't get they can't defense but our player of the game was Chris Tops with 25 points and Sean Bradley Rick Smith didn't even play. But in the small players, their best player is Adam Iverson with 19 points. And thank you guys for watching this video. I know this is kind of a different video I make, but yeah, so this is a this is not a gaming video, but hope you enjoyed this video like it's on my channel. If you wanna see more of this video, um hit the like button. If you don't want to see more of this video, just don't the, the dislike button, just watch another video for my video. And thank you for 1000 views in my Rudy Gay video. I don't know how to became 1000 views, but it had 1000 views. Go check it out. And yeah, so bye!